Hey there, Rick Young here. Uh, I wanted to go over and do a little quick video on the uh, the chart screen and how to use a lot of its functionality, right, to to the best of your uh, for, you know to your advantage. So um, first of all, I'm using MT. This is an, on MT4, and I'm using an Android device. So it may be slightly different with your iPhone, but I think the the stuff is kind of you know very similar. So again, Android, right? So when you first log in, you're going to come to the quote screen. To go to the charts, you're going to go and click on these little candlesticks, right? Or however you need to go to your chart screen. So let's start from 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 left to right here. So one, you you have a way to to bring a crosshairs, right? And all you got to do is click on it and to come to put it on there and to take it off. Um, to use it, all you got to do is hold your finger on the phone and drag it to wherever you need it. So maybe you wanted to find out what the level is of this. Uh, uh, of this buy here, you know, at the bottom of this candle, um, you want to maybe line line up and see where it lines up on the RSI. So there's there's plenty of uses that you can use for this crosshairs, all right? But it, you can't do anything else on it until the crosshairs are gone, all right? So crosshairs, hold and drag, and then remove. Okay. Next thing is your functions. Okay. So this is where you you're able to go and add. Um, indicators onto your charts. So on an Android MT4, I've heard on iPhones there's three screens or three divisions, right? But on an Android, um, I, I can only go off an Android, so there's only two windows. There's the main window and then there's a lower window, okay? So if I click on the function, this is what I have currently, me, myself, in, in my main charts. If I want to get rid of something, let me, uh, let me uh, go back here. If I want to get rid of it, of one of these, right? All I got to do is hit the the uh, delete button, click on it, and delete. Now I go back, and now my Bollinger bands are missing. Okay. So if I want to go back to add it, function. This is the functions. This is to add the functions to the main chart. Go click on it, Bollinger bands. It's going to open up to see what you want to make it. Uh, make it as you know your different parameters you can change the the, the width of it you know the um, so that's just a stronger looking line you can change the color um, and you can add levels to it um, and then you click done and there you go there's your Bollinger bands right there all right I'm just clicking and dragging to the you know all the way so there's my Bollinger bands all right um, and same thing were to happen to the bottom indicator window so you can add multiple um, you know different trends or oscillators or whatever else that that floats your boat and but what it does though because it's it can get a little um, um, a little crowded so make sure I would I would make sure that you don't add too many so as an example here's my RSI okay I have different levels that I've added to this RSI um, Matter of fact, I'm missing one real quick, so I'm going to go add it back. Click on the function, click on the RSI, and I'm missing a level that I wanted to add here. Add and 75. And then I can change the width of it, the color, and then I'm going to click add. Oh, sorry. Now, once it's added, that's it. I'm going to go and delete this one just in case. There we go. Go back. And boom, now I have an extra line here. One, two, three, four, five. That's the way I like it. So I'm I'm doing it to my trading style, okay? But notice, so we have this black line right here for the RSI. I have a few lines that I've added. Now, as I add these, watch this. I'm going to add um, commodity channel index. And I'm just, you can change it to wherever, however you need it. But I just want you to see it on the screen and how it can start to get a little crowded on here. Okay. So that is how you add and remove uh, indicators on your charts. So you click on this. Um, oops. Let me go back. I'm going to delete the commodity one because I don't want it on mine. And there you go. Okay. So that's that's how you add indicators to your list. The next one is, is if you want to switch between um, pairings really quick, you click on that, and however many pairings, let me 
on your main list. This, these are the pairings on your main list. Okay, so if you're looking for a pairing in here and it's not on here, then you've not added it onto your main list. So here I can go ahead and switch between, if you notice here, switch between um, all these pairings really quick. There you go, boom, see? All right, so that's how you can switch between pairings on the chart screen. Next one is how you can change your time uh, on the chart. So you click on that and you can change your different times. All right, very simple, very straightforward, too easy. And then last but not least, if I am on this pair right here and I want to make a trade, I can click on this and boom, now the trade screen comes on. And I can I can fin, uh, finagle that to however, and, I, and I'll do a different video on this uh, in a minute. All right, so that's that. Now, these are using these top indicators right here, okay? What else, the other thing that you can do is if you click inside the main window, you'll have a wheel show up. Okay, so this is another quick wheel. So here you can change your times really quickly, or you can or you can click the time one. Okay, so there you go, M1 all the way to monthly. Here you have access to your indicators. Here you have access to your crosshairs. And oh, by the way, you can also add lines to your charts. Okay, you can add objects, trend lines, all kinds of different things. Okay. So that you're gonna to have to use um, a little bit, a little bit more difficult because again you're using your finger. Some of you may have a stylus, so it might be a little bit easier. But you can add objects to it. All right, just so just so you know, and you can also remove objects from it. So there you go. That's a quick uh, down and dirty guys of how to use the chart screen on your MT4 app, use uh, with an Android device. I hope that this helped.